Grace is the secret to a long-term, successful art career. Let's talk about it. So when I say grace, there might be several different things that come to your mind. I am going to tailor this video away from most of them and focus on you as the individual. You need to be gracious to yourself and gracious with your artwork if you really want to stick to this for a long time. Look, the journey is a long one. Art is hard, and while expectations and goals are fantastic, they can also make it very hard to keep moving forward. This is where grace comes in. Grace is the balancing medium, keeping you in the game, making and producing things, while goals and expectations pull you toward even more challenging things. If you only have the goals, then you will inevitably burn yourself out. It really is only a matter of time. Uninhibited, the human brain is, well, quite a beast. Grace for yourself allows you to shrug it off when you don't quite hit the mark. Should you keep trying? Should you be hard on yourself when you don't meet your goal? Well, yes, perhaps, but without grace, there is little tempering of that being hard on yourself. And it's so easy for us as artists to go overboard. On the other side of grace, you need to be gracious with your artwork. You will likely look back on old pieces of art and have a visceral reaction, yelling things like, oh goodness, how was I possibly proud of that? Ugh, I don't want anybody to see this. Those reactions are coming from a present day you, a you who knows more than that old version of you, who has higher standards, higher levels of expertise, who couldn't produce something like that you of years ago did and still be happy with it. But the reality is you were happy with those things, proud of them when you produced them, and you can't ignore that. They were good to that version of you, and so don't hold them in contempt. Find a way to be excited about them, to be proud of them still, even if it's in kind of a nostalgic way. They are a part of you. They're an extension of you. They were something made by a previous form of you. So try to find a way to integrate them, to hold them close and give them some love and affection. Be gracious with your past work. I talk a lot about goals on this channel and, and how important they are for your continued forward momentum. And I hold to that. But heavy expectations without a counterbalance can so easily topple your ship. No one wants to drown on the art journey. It's difficult enough already. So be gracious with yourself. You as the artist, when you feel like you failed, understand it's a part of the journey and be gracious with yourself. And be gracious to your old artwork and your present day artwork as well. Well, as always, thank you for your time. I appreciate you listening to these Monday rambles. I hope that it's been beneficial to you in some way. If there's anything you would like me to talk about in future Monday ramble videos, please let me know in the comments down below. Have a good one, y'all. See you soon.